Hey guys, I'm a blasting of class 8C, Delhi Public School, Greater Faidabad, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an experiment which demonstrates the strange behavior of a non-Newtonian fluid called oobleck. So to perform this experiment, we need corn flour or corn starch, as you can call it, some water, a glass for measurement of the water, a bowl, and a spoon to mix all the ingredients. So the first step is we have to pour this water in this cup into the bowl and the second ingredient which is the corn flour we have to pour the corn flour in the water as well. On that the oobleks looks better because of the yellow color. It's time to test it. What happened? Yeah. I'm able to punch this oob. As you can see even though this oobleck is so deep in the bowl, I'm able to punch it like it's a solid. But when I slowly dip my hand inside it, it behaves like a liquid. If I try to lift a chunk from this oobleck, if I'm quick enough, I'm able to make a clay ball with the oobleck. But now if I let it go, it behaves like it's some sort of liquid. So what is the science behind it? Well, let's go to the whiteboard after obviously I clean this mess. So how does the oobleck work? Well, to first answer that question, we need to know uh, the different type of fluids. There may be two types of fluid, non-newtonian fluid and newtonian fluids. And to this, no, uh, newtonian fluids are the fluids which, uh, which we, many of us, may already know like it's like water, oil, milk which follow the laws of viscosity presented by Sir Isaac Newton that is that the, the viscosity of these fluids do not change no matter if the force applied on them is high or low but on the other side non newtonian fluids are the fluids which change the viscosity and do not follow the typical law of viscosity presented by Sir Isaac Newton so the viscosity of this uh, non newtonian fluid, which is oobleck, changes depending on how much amount of force is applied on them. Figure out how does uh, the oobleck works, we need to first know what is it made up of. I just showed you it is made up of cornstarch and water. And in cornstarch, cornstarch has large blocky molecules, which we will we are going to symbolize this way. And water has small circular or round shaped molecules which we are going to symbolize by blue balls. So in the case one when we dip our hands slowly let's supposing that these blue balls are water molecules and these big rectangular chunks are the molecules of cornstarch when we put our, pour our hands slowly in the solution these mo water molecules act like balls for the cornstarch molecules to roll upon so that so they get out of the way and we can easily dip our hands inside the cornstarch but in case two if we punch the solution then the water molecules are pushed uh, really quickly quickly uh, and they are, they come at the edges so the only remaining area so the only remaining thing in this area is the cornstarch this is why this particular area as you can see here it is full of cornstarch. This particular area of our fist now starts behaving like a solid because there is no liquid molecule. Thank you so much, all of you, for viewing.